Hey everyone, welcome back. In our last video, we did subassembly one for our hydraulic arm seam here. In this video, we're going to continue on with subassembly two, where we construct and assemble the lower and upper arms. Let's go ahead and get started. Before you do an assembly, you always want to come on up, start a new design, and save it first. And we're going to call this sub assembly two. Okay, hydraulic arm. And select save. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in our lower arm part here. And we're going to select OK. Next thing we're going to do is come on down here to, let's see here, our syringe holder lower arm large piece. Let's insert that into current design. <clears throat> and I'm going to put it into place here and rotate it. So it looks something like that. Hit OK. I'm going to go up to Assemble. I'm going to go to Joint, and I'm going to select Motion. I'm going to make sure I select Rigid here. And I'm going to select this center point right here. And I know it corresponds to this center point right here. Select OK. Looking good. Let's do this again now and repeat this process for the next slot up here. Go to Assemble, Joint. And we're going to come on over here, find that center point, And I know it corresponds to this center point right there. OK. And now we got to insert one more brace here. But we got to do uh, the lower arm small piece here. Let's insert that into current design. And this one's going to go in the back. So we're going to kind of just rotate it around. Move it into place as we always do. Hit OK, assemble, joint, and we're going to come to motion. Make sure you select rigid. I'm going to select that middle point, and I know it corresponds to that middle point, and select OK. Looking good. OK. So by now, you should hopefully have all three of these um, syringe braces for the lower arm in place. Now let's come back to our lower arm and insert that into current design. Select OK. Come up to Assemble, Joint. Make sure you have Rigid selected. Go back to Position. And I know that this center point right here corresponds with that center point. Whoops, not that one. Hit Cancel. Try that again. OK, this center point right here corresponds with that center point. And there we go. Looks much better. OK, so hopefully by now you have something that looks like this. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to find our M3 by 45 millimeter bolt, and we're going to insert that into current design. And I'm going to move it into place. So, And I'm going to do two of them, because we need to add two of them here. And that looks pretty good. I'm just going to back it out a little bit. Select OK. Do insert into current design. And I'm going to move this one kind of down here and over into place over here. Maybe not so far here. OK, select OK. And now let's go ahead and assemble them. We're going to use a rigid joint. So make sure you select rigid. And then we know that this hole right here corresponds with that right there. Select OK. And now we're going to do the same thing for the other bolt joint. And it's going to select rigid by default. So I'm going to click here. And there. And select OK. So now we have our two 45 millimeter bolts in there. Now we just need to add some nuts on them. So come on down to your M3 nut. Insert into current design. And we're going to do two of them. OK, I'm going to move this one into place real quick. And that's really far off. Select OK. Right click into current design. Same thing for this one. Select OK. Now let's go ahead and assemble these guys. We're going to go to joint. And we're going to continue with rigid joint. I'm going to select that circle. 
I know goes with that one. Select OK. Do the same thing for the other one. And select OK. OK. All right, so there you go. We got our two M3 bolts and nuts on. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my lower arm here and I'm gonna ground it just so it doesn't move. And you should always ground one part, sort of the foundational part in your assembly, okay? So now that that's grounded, let's start building our upper arm, all right? So I'm gonna come on down to here, right click into current design, let's do our upper arm. Okay, and I'm gonna kinda of move it into place. something like that maybe move it out just a little bit okay select ok and we're going to go ahead and assemble it with this time we're going to use a revolute joint okay and i know that well let's come to position that right there corresponds to not this hole we want to leave, use that one later to this one right here. Select OK. So now we have this part that kind of goes like that, right? All right, so now let's go ahead and we're going to insert our upper arm syringe braces. And we're going to insert three of them. I'm just going to kind of come over here, get them into place all three of them that is. Hit OK. Right click into current design. Hit OK and let's do the third one. Insert into current design. All right and then rotate it around. Hit OK. And now we're going to assemble them with a rigid joint like we've done in the past. So come to motion, select rigid position, and I'm going to click. I know that this point right here corresponds with that one right there. Select OK. Let's do the same for the other one here. Assemble joint. I know that that one right there goes to that one right there. And this middle point right here corresponds to that middle point right there. Select OK. So I got all three of my syringe braces in there. OK. All right. OK, now we're going to do our other upper arm piece. So I'm going to right click into current design. Come on over here and get it into place something like that I'm gonna to go to assemble joint motion I'm gonna select rigid back to position and I know that this part right here corresponds with that point right there select OK alright and if we did everything right okay our upper arm should move like so. Now let's come back to our M3 bolts here and we're going to insert our M3 by 35 millimeter bolts. We're going to do two of them. Okay, I'm going to move them into place here. And something like that looks pretty good. And then let's go ahead and insert another one. Select OK. Now let's go ahead and assemble them. I'm going to use a rigid joint back to position. Select that guy, and we know it goes right here. Select OK. 
and then assemble joint. We're going to come on over here, do the same thing for the other bolt. We're going to click on that circle, and I know it corresponds to that one right there. Select OK. All right, now let's just go ahead and put some M3 nuts on there. Right click on the M3 nut and insert into current design. And once again, I'm going to kind of move them in place here. That's pretty good. Let's do the other one. All right, so let's go ahead and assemble them. And as before, we're gonna use a basic rigid joint here. And I'm gonna click there, and I know it goes right here. Okay. And then do the same thing for the other bolt and nut. So we're gonna to come to assemble joint, click there. And it goes right there. Select OK. All right, remember every M3 bolt should have a nut that holds it in place. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to start adding our syringes now. So let's come on over here to our syringe plunger. We're going to right click insert into current design. And we're going to get this guy into place so it's all ready to go. So let's come on down here, get it into place, into position. And this one's going to be a little tricky, so you might want to listen. Uh, let's see here. So we're going to... Nope, not that one. Okay, so we want it just like that. Something like that. Go ahead and select OK. And we're going to add a revolute joint. So we're going to come up here to assemble. And we're going to do joint, and this time we're going to come to motion, we're going to do revolute joint, and then we're coming back to position. We're going to select between two faces. So listen carefully. I'm going to select on this face right here, and I'm going to come around and select this face right here. And now I need to select the center point on this plane. Get a good view here where you can see it. So this, let's see here. right there. So do you see where that center point is? Right in the middle. And then once we have that, we're going to come on over here now to this spot right here. And notice it's like, oh, but Mr. Fuller, it's not centered in your right. So we need to move it a distance of minus 0.625. And the minus didn't go in. And there we go. Now it should be centered. Okay. So there we go. We have our plunger centered. And we'll attach this plunger later to this sir, uh, uh, syringe housing right here. Okay. All right. So now let's go ahead and insert our, do the same thing for the other syringe plunger for this one. So we're going to go ahead and insert into current design. I'm going to kind of get it into place here like I did before. I'm going to rotate this guy so that it's something like that. Let's see here. And let's move it a little closer. Okay, so same thing. We're going to assemble joint. When we come to motion, we're going to do a revolute joint. And we're going to come to position. We're going to do between two faces just like we did last time. So I'm going to click on this face. I'm going to rotate around and I'm going to click on the other face. And now it's saying, hey, we need a point here to reference here. And we want that middle point that we did before. Right there. Let's see if we got it right. That looks right. It's right in the center. Okay. And then we need to attach it right here. OK, 
Okay, so it rotates around, but we need to offset it now. We're going to move this arrow down a distance of 0.5. So now it is perfectly centered. Hit OK. Okay. And remember, this part's still grounded, so if I if I grab my syringes here, they should still rotate. Okay, and notice this one rotates with the arm. So what we can do now, let's let's ground this guy, the upper arm, and just check to make sure it works. So there we go. Okay, it's we're looking good. All right, so now let's see here. What are we going to do next? Now let's go ahead and insert the first of two syringe housings we need to insert here. So I'm going to right click insert into current design. All right, and I'm going to kind of put it in place here as I always do. And we're going to get something like this. All right, and select OK. And what we want now is we're going to go to assemble joint and this one's fairly easy. We want this circle right here to kind of rest up against, well, that circle right there. Select OK. All right, so now we have this syringe housing in place where we want it. Looking good. Okay, it's also through our other piece back here. Now let's go do the other syringe housing. And this one's going to be a little tricky, so you need to pay attention. So try to listen carefully here. All right. All right, so now let's go ahead and insert our second syringe housing into the design. And this time I'm going to move it exactly in place where I want it because I'm going to do an as-built joint. So let's get it kind of somewhere, oh, somewhere like that looking pretty good. Um, move it up and over into position. And that looks good. That looks perfect. So let's go ahead and select OK once you have it in a position like this. And for this one we're not going to use a rigid joint. We're going to use an as-built joint, an as-built joint, and we're going to use a revolute joint. So we're going to come select as-built joint and we're going to come down down select revolute and we're going to select this guy and this guy and then let's get it to kind of click on this circle right there and we don't want the Z axis let's try the Y axis and that's what we want select OK so what we have now because we want our syringe here to kind of move up and down in this location here okay this will give us more flexibility and more movement for this piece over here Okay, so now we want to go ahead and add some joint limits so this thing doesn't spin all the way around like this. So we're going to come into the joint and we're going to right click on our revolute joint here and we're going to edit the joint limits for this guy. Okay, and I'm going to zoom in and let's see here. Sometimes this works easy and sometimes it doesn't. So let's go to minimum and let's kind of move it down to about right there. Maybe make like five. And then the maximum, let's move it up, something about right there. So we have 5 and negative 6.5. Okay, that looks pretty good. Select OK. Now this thing should move sort of into place. And it looks like it moves a little too low here. Yeah, so we can go back in and fix that real quick. Edit joint limits. Okay, so minus five. Whoop. Let's keep this one at minus seven actually. And let's keep this one maybe at like three. Maybe that's too much. So let's try one. And that looks good. Select OK and now it looks more realistic in the way we want it okay all right now let's go ahead and do our last joint and it's going to be an as-built joint here between our syringe and our plunger so i'm going to go ahead and click on my front view and get these guys into position where i want them so i'm going to move this guy down and it, you may need to ground this if it's not grounded okay and i'm going to move this guy into position so they're lined up 
Move this guy down a little bit more. And maybe something like that. Maybe a little bit better. That looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to come to assemble. Once I have these two parts in position, I'm going to select as built joint. I'm going to select slider and I'm going to click here. I'm going to, on my plunger, I'm going to click on my syringe housing. And then I'm going to click here and it's going to go in and out. And that's what we want. Select OK. And if we go to test it, it's not going to move. And that's because I have this part grounded here. So let's go unground that so we can test it out. Upper arm, unground. And if we did everything right, it should kind of move into position here. And that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. And for this syringe plunger down here, we will assemble this guy later when we do our full assembly. All right. That'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.